Good afternoon. Make sure I'm plugged in. I think that's good. All right. <laughs> Technology checking is good things at the beginning. Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. Before I introduce myself fully, let me just say this is episode number 485. And the topic today is you blacking out your, your Facebook profile? Here's a better way. And I'll get into what that means because you may not know because I only figured that out a little bit while ago myself. Before I get there, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women find balance and create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day I do these talks on Facebook first, then go on to YouTube and my podcast. I'll get to those later. Called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. Actually, inspire your feminine heart. And so today's episode is number 485. So I've done a few of these. And the topic today is... Are you blacking out your profile picture? And if so, here's a better idea. Now, before I get into too far, let me explain what that is because you may or may not know that the, um, I can say this, there's apparently now this message going around because the friends of mine are posting against it. So I'm actually going to speak on behalf of them in a way, or not behalf of them, that's not what I'm saying, but I'm in agreement with them that apparently there's this new protest can happen all day tomorrow where all the women are going to black out their Facebook pictures. So, and that's going to basically be a place to have, um, what's I'm looking for? An impact on men because they're going to say, what's the world going to be like without women? It's not the smartest idea. And as much as it might be an impact, and this is not the first time it's been done where you do like, let's get everybody to change their profile pictures for a cause. Let me speak to this in a much more simple way. Ladies, if you want to wake up men to what it's like to not have women around, do it physically. And that, I mean, literally mean that. If you're somebody basically who's feeling like you don't have a voice to express, there's a quote, remember, I mean, I'm, I know I'm quoting this from um, Al Gore's last movie, but I'm sure it came from somewhere else before that, which is speaking truth to power. I, I don't even know the original quote, but it comes from somewhere. Speaking truth to power. What does that mean? The way I'm, use, I'm feeling it in the way I'm talking about this context is, is, is raising your voice up to make sure it's heard because, and careful I say this, if you have a message to speak, a voice to be expressed, and a, a um, experience you've been through before that was wounding, um, abuse, rape, suffering, whatever that was, then to speak that to the world, to the men around you, it's about time. Now, I'm going to be careful I say this. I know for a lot of you this is a wound it's hard to talk about, and, and I, I, I appreciate because some of my clients have been through this. I work with them. I understand how the wound can be so hard to speak about in public. And it's not about just putting it on Facebook. This is the thing. This is, oh, okay. If you want to make an impact on men, especially the men in your life who are close to you, you ladies, have them sit down, sit down across from them, make eye contact, hold their hands and tell them your truth. And, and ask them to shut up until you're finished. That's another piece, by the way, because we have a bad habit of trying to fix things and interrupting. That's a male thing. Your pain, pain, your suffering, your wounds, one, are something that he needs to feel and hear so he knows what you've been through. Secondly, when you do this, it will help you by having a man stay there for you and be present because that'll be part of the healing process. So choose wisely, by the way. But if you're in a relationship with a man that you trust and you love dearly and you have a wound you haven't healed yet, I strongly suggest it may be time to bring it to the surface because the more you can one voice this out in the world the more men become aware of the wounds that men have done to women as a general experience so that we can become including myself more compassionate more caring more willing to listen to women more able to support and serve you and more compassionate about what other more compassionate to you and also more protective of you about other men because there's too many men and i was one of them who were playing innocent bystander other men were doing things that we didn't agree with to women and it's time that all men who are not doing this stop do it, men doing this. Let me, let me try that one again. I think it came out clear. <laughs> let me try that one again. It's time that us men who have been sitting on the bus sidelines, not pr um, being protagonists, but also not doing anything else, it's time we stepped up. It's time we stepped forward. It's time that we stand up for the women, stand with you women, and be a voice of truth, a voice of integrity and a voice of love one to protect you support you and, and respect you but also to wake the fuck out of the other men <laughs> yeah, there, I had to use the F word finally came out again 
If you're watching my broadcast, I don't usually use that word very often. It's actually twice this week it's come out. It's been one of those weeks. And so I feel like it's time to really speak up more clearly. And so the blacking out of your profile is a nice thing to do, but it's very passive. And I think it's time to stop doing the passive act. And ladies, I'm gonna say this carefully, you, through the pain and suffering you've been through, for a lot of you, you've been passive for your own protection. I understand that. But I'm also aware it's way past time for men to hear from you directly, for men to start feeling the pain and wounds and anger you carry so that we know what it feels like, so that we know how much we as a population have wounded you, so that we can realize it's time to change. What happened this past week in the hearings and beyond is not just about what's happening legally speaking, it's about what's happening societally speaking. It's becoming more clear, and, and I know that this is not, not a unanimous thought happening across the whole of the American culture, because I know parts of the cult America are way different from what I'm talking about here. But I'm also aware that for more of us that talk about this and have an honest understanding of communication, we get to be more close, more intimate in a very caring, compassionate way. We get to have a safe space for each other, and we get to be on the same side as each other, which is the side of love and compassion. And those who don't choose to play along, we'll get some feedback, just to be really clear. And so, as I mentioned earlier about tr speaking truth to power, ladies, I, I don't know if you saw Marianne Williamson's quote, which I, I reposted yesterday, I would advise you to read about it. But the way she started off was, they've gone and done it now. And I, I agree with that. What's happened is, what happened in that room, regardless of whether he gets in or not, it's, they've exposed their true colors, which is, which is absolutely um, denigrating to women. So ladies in November, as well as now, make your voice heard. Stand up strong. Get together, you sisters. Don't black out your profile pictures. It's not about that. It's about getting it and voting. It's about taking action. It's about circling the men in your life and educating them. And those that don't want to hear about it may have their own... Um, ghosts to deal with but it's time to change the conversation it's time to raise the bar and it's time to speak our truth so this ain't a pretty talk <laughs> it's not one of my entertaining uplifting and joking ones I do quite often but it's an important one and it's really it's really for me I guess it's a summation of the last two I did yesterday and Thursday because this has been something that's been on my mind a lot since not just since Thursday but especially since Thursday because of all my friends posts I read on Thursday Friday and today of their sharing their history, their wounds, their abuse they went through. And every time I read one, it just, it just cuts me to the core. Because, you know, I feel like I wish I could have been there to protect them. But of course I can't do that. I couldn't have done that. But it's time to stop that happening going forward. So for the future of women, the daughters, the sisters, the cousins, the nieces of your families, for you as a person as well, is to get on the same page with each other. Reach out to your sisters, commit to communicate. You're welcome, Evie. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you're here, by the way. And to wake up the men. It's time you tell the men the truth. Because most of the men are playing oblivious. But if you get their attention, they may wake up. Can't promise that. That's not my area of control. But it may just wake them up. And by having you confront in a way that is from a place of wanting them to support you and listen, not to hurt them. Because the other thing is, for most of you, I believe, most of the men you're talking to weren't the ones that perpetrated the, the wounds only in the first place. So, first of all, please don't blame the, those men. Yes, you may have to do some work with forgiveness, with healing, with confronting, with dealing with your um, attacker, perpetrator, whatever that was. But the men are in your life who aren't that, who are the innocent bystanders kind of thing, they can have a better role with your life. They can be your support structure. They can be your staying together with you, you know? So... Um, hi Eva, sorry I'm missing what it's saying here. I, I'm, I'm totally fine if you don't agree with that person. So, you don't feel that men are getting a fair deal here, it's far too easy to blame them. Well, in a way, we are on the same page, so just want to say that. Um, then maybe it's time to bring the conversation to a different group of men. Because I know, and I, and, and, and I will say this, um, where are we? Eva, not Evie, I've got Eva and Evie both on here at the same time. Eva, I, I appreciate it's thought-provoking, and, and I'm, I'm passionate about this because I support and serve women. It's my, it's my work, it's my calling, it's my service. I know what it feels, sorry, let me, say, let me say it a better way. I appreciate what it feels like, I can't say I know, but I appreciate what it feels like for you ladies, what you've been through. And every time I, see, I hear a story from a woman I know who's been through that, it just strikes me, as I said, it, it cuts me to the core. 
I will stand with you, I will support you, and I hope other men will too. And for the men who already know you and who love you and are on the same page as you, you already have that. But it's the men who don't give a damn, the men who maybe are in your family circles or in other circles where they act like nothing matters. Like, you know the men, you, I know, you know them I'm talking about, the ones who don't really care, who basically, the ones in your workplace or your social environment or other places where they just act like no big deal. They're the ones that may need to be awoken most of all because that will propagate through the community. So Eva and Evie, I understand both of you and I appreciate what you're saying. And yes, it, and Eva, as you said, it is, it is far too easy to blame men in general, which is why I'm saying this in this way. Because for many of us men, we are, awoke, we are awoke, if you want to call it that, but we are awakened enough to know that men have perpetrated wounds on women for centuries. And so being in a male body, and if you talk about past life stuff, that's not always the case, just to be inclusive, we have a role to play. If we're not part of the solution, we're not, support, we're not stopping the problem. So we can play in a different way. We can step up to another level. These talks I give every day are part of that solution for me. That's a way of sharing it out. And with my coaching and the work I do, other men out there other ways of doing it too. Reach out to men you trust because that builds the platform from which you can rise up. And definitely, definitely reach out to the women you trust and build sisterhood. So blacking out your profile, if you want to, I'm not a big, I'm not a big proponent of that. But I am a proponent of speaking up, stepping up, speaking your truth, but also speak it up in the places where it lands where it can impact, where it can change minds. Because the thing is, there are many men, and quite a lot of women, to be honest, whose minds are fixed on a particular way of seeing things and not willing to see the truth of what's happened to you and to other women like you. So by opening their eyes to the truth, inviting them into the conversation, and waking them up to the wounds that have happened, they can have compassion and understanding, hopefully, and be in alignment to where we want to go. And the mission, I guess, or the... Uh, invitation I'm throwing out there is that we as a collective, as a human race, as a culture in this country especially can as a group stand on the same page and say no more you know the Time's Up movement the Me Too conversation, all these things are showing up but it's another level we're getting to because that's, that's the declaration like we're not doing this anymore so the question is what do we want next let's start building that vision, that dream and that's, and that's not for this, this broadcast, I'll do another one about that, par that paradigm we're going to because we, want, we need to get through this and frankly the hearings on Thursday are a massive, um, not necessarily pivot point, but it's a reminder of the old, it's one of the, it's one of the death knells of that old clanging bell, of the old way of doing things and it doesn't fit anymore. So it's time to step up, it's time to speak up, it's time to act up, so to speak. So don't black out your profile, take an action step on how you can make the world a better place by sharing, communicating, connecting, and if you've been wounded, find a way to heal it. I think that makes my point. Um, oh, I mentioned earlier about this is a Facebook Live that goes onto YouTube. I'll give you the links. Also, I want to let you know I, I do want to keep recommending my self-love guided meditation practice that I've been talking about because it really is a powerful, simple routine you can do on your own, in your own privacy, in your own home that can help you learn to love yourself and raise your own self-support structures so you can be healthier, whole, more whole, and happier in your life. And I'll put the link in the comments afterwards. Um, so again, Facebook Live first goes onto my business page on Facebook. All my social media is my name, Barry Selby, except my business page on Facebook is barryselby.author because my personal page is my name. That's where these go after I finish them. They also go into my YouTube channel, which is the username or channel is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. That's also the name, Messages from the Masculine, of my podcast on iTunes, where you can subscribe and download there. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can. it's easy to find my history of broadcasts on YouTube because they're in one place, it's easy to search there, whereas on Facebook it's a bit more clunky. That's the way they set it up. Um, and if you want to find out the self-love package without even bothering with me to put the link in later on, you go to barryselby.com, which is my website, forward slash self-love, or one word. Check it out, take a look, and if it, sign, if it lines up for you, get it. It will help you change your life. Um, once again, thanks for being with me, as always. This is my Saturday broadcast. This is Messages for the Masculine number 485, so tomorrow will be number 486. So I'll see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Same place, same bat channel. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Bye.